This is ANN News Brief. At least 42 persons are reported dead in flood swamp in eastern Niger. Heavy rain began in June, but last week the waters of the Niger River basin reached critical levels. The country's Minister for Humanitarian Action says the river has been rising nearly four inches each day. Niger officials say at least 5,000 houses have been destroyed in the flooding, leaving more than 65,000 people stranded. Extreme weather is a common phenomenon in Niger. World Health Organization WHO has warned that there is a risk of an, of an outbreak of cholera. Last year, a drought followed by severe flooding led to food shortages. Now in Cameroon, several businesses have had their licenses withdrawn and have been fined by the government after they obeyed a lockdown imposed by separatists. Separatists are enforcing a lockdown across cities, towns and villages in Cameroon's two English-speaking regions, the Northwest and Southwest, to ensure schools remain shut after a fourth economic year in a row. Because of an existing row with the government since 2016, leading to armed groups who want to create a breakaway nation. Kumba City Council says the businesses will be reopened once the owners pay a fine of 25,000 uh, sefa, uh, a, dollar, a $42 equivalent. UN estimates more than 400,000 people are currently displaced in Cameroon, most of them women and children. U.S. Assistant Secretary of African Affairs, Thibault Nagy, has called on Cameroon's government to hold mediation talks with separatists without any preconditions. We'll return after this message. We are on the road every day, canvassing throughout Africa for news you really need. We follow this story everywhere, from every corner of Nigeria to the wide African expanse. We bring you what's making headlines. We connect you with news you can use. ANN. African News Network in a truly African spirit. Tanzania's national carrier has suspended its flight from the commercial capital Dar es Salaam to Johannesburg on Thursday, citing ongoing violence that was a risk to its passengers. Tanzania's Transport Minister Asik Kamwewe told journalists in Dar es Salaam. The decision was made not to transport passengers to the destination where their lives will be in jeopardy. It said they are aware of ongoing violence in South Africa where the youth have taken laws in their hands. South African police say hundreds of arrests have been made during a week of anti-immigrant violence. At least seven persons are reported to have been killed. That is the NN News Brief. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, at NN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Ademi.